I'm here to talk about a franchise that said it was more than meets the eye. Now back in 2006, there was a, a short preview shown of Transformers. And I'm sure it kept a lot of fanboys excited. I mean, even me, I did like the the cartoon series which came out in in the 80s and, and, and in their early 90s. And like the other fanboys, I was excited too. Wow, a live action Transformers film? This is going to be great! And when it finally came out in 2007, I was not disappointed. No, it's about what you would expect when you see a Transformers film. Do you expect Oscar-worthy performances? No. Do you expect a, f a story with deep meaning? No. I'll tell you what you expect. You want to see Autobots and Decepticons battling it out. And that's exactly what you get. Now, the filmmakers wanted to... Uh, wanted to sort of copy the style of Independence Day, make over-the-top, but at the same time, entertaining characters, and that's what you do. Shia LaBeouf was pretty, was pretty, was pretty good. Megan Fox, all she's ever good for, and almost, almost everything she, she does, is that she, um, stands around and looks pretty. That's all she does. John Voight was pretty good, and so was John Turturro. Josh Duhamel, uh, don't get me started about him. I never really liked him as an actor. All in all, this was an entertaining film. The effects were great. The battle scenes were in the city was epic. But can I say the same for the second Transformers film? No. All right, before I get into that, I'm going to say we all can be taking shots at Michael Bay, the kind of director that he is. I mean, I wouldn't. He's directed some pretty decent films. Well, I think The Rock, with Sean Connery and Nicolas Cage, was his only good film. I hated Armageddon. I really hated that movie. Ugh, it gets me mad just thinking about it. Uh, I didn't see Pearl Harbor, but from what I heard from my brother, I probably never will. I sort of was entertained by Pain and Gain. So, for those who hate Michael Bay, I gotta say this. You can throw a lot of F-bombs at him and even give him the middle finger. <laughs> it's not gonna do you any good. He's still making millions, so he's getting the last laugh. Okay, back to Revenge of the Fallen. What did, did I like this movie? Well, the effects were pretty decent, but I think they were trying so hard to make them the characters more humorous than they were in the than than they were in the f first film. They were just amping it up, and it just was awful. They were just bland. The only two characters I liked, and they this, these two got criticism, was the two jive talking Autobots. Were <laughs> they were funny? They had me in stitches, and they got criticized being by critics calling it racially insensitive. And because of after the failure of this, and the, and the battle scenes were too short, they weren't epic enough, and that's why I had no hope for Transformers Dark of the Moon. And, man, they really improved stuff. And what I heard, Michael Bay wasn't happy with Revenge of the Fallen, and he, he improved it better with Dark of the Moon. The fight scenes were more epic. The humor was kind of kept to at bay. I mean, the human, the human part characters did uh, have uh, humorous moments, but when it came to the battle scenes in the, the with the Transformers and the Decepticons, then it was taken seriously. And Leonard Nimoy was pretty good as Sentient Prime. A friend of mine once thought that Leonard Nimoy was the voice of Optimus Prime, and and Peter Cullen, who is the voice of Optimus Prime, the cartoon show in the movies. He and Leonard Nimoy do have similar voices. They do sound sort of alike. Megan Fox does not return because she had a bad falling out with Michael Bay. Well, they must have made up because she's now in the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles film, a film which Michael Bay produced. And uh, I actually thought that this was going to be the end of an era. I mean, I mean, I didn't think you can go any further with the characters and the Autobots after this. I mean, you're thinking this could be it. I mean, you figure if they make a fourth one, it's going to be disastrous. Anybody remember Superman 4? Well, no? I'm trying not to. Uh, and Batman and Robin. I'm sure a lot of people want to forget that one, too. But, surprisingly, they did, which recently came out. Transformers Age of Extinction. And was it terrible? 
No. It's not a great film, but it's an entertaining film. It, the characters were enjoyable. Mark Wahlberg playing a single dad, and he's also an inventor who, who finds Prime and brings him back, revives him. Nicole Pelps, who's best known for that awful film, The Last Airbender, is also good as his daughter. Sort of like a junior Megan Fox sort of thing, where she wears all those short shorts things. And T.J. Miller is only in it. You know, he's probably the, known as the goofy friend from She's All Out of My League. She's He's pretty funny, even though the amount of times he's even in the film. And it also has some good bad guys, like Kelsey Grammer. was pretty menacing. <laughs> and so does his hitman henchman, and I forgot his name, but he is, that guy, that, the character's pretty menacing, he and Wahlberg do have a nice fight, I'll tell you that, and not, not, not saying that the Autobots do have a battle scene, I mean, Prime has a, Optimus Prime has a good fight scene, and all that, and uh, they also have some n awesome new characters, I mean, John Goodman plays an Autobot, I mean, you know it's him before he even speaks, because he's the Autobot was designed to look by John Goodman. Ken Watatanabe was good as the Japanese Autobot. You probably remember him. He's probably best remembered for as the scientist from Godzilla. And was this a great film? Like I said, no. This wasn't a great film. It was up there with 1 and 3. They're not great films. It's it's way better than, than Revenge of the Fallen. But these Transformer films are not great films. They're not trying to be great films. They're just here to entertain us. Okay? They're just... Popcorn, guilty pleasure, fun. That's all these films are trying to be. And if you're not entertained, well, the film did not do its job. But I was entertained by Age of Extinction. If you 